kill him. With all due respect, your best guess is still just a guess. We need to have faith in the possibility of good. Wait, hold on. His oxygen consumption's going up. I think he's alive. He's conscious. Hey, go steady down there. You've been out for a couple weeks. Fifteen days, in fact. They thought you were dead. If it wasn't for your life suit, you probably would be. Listen, there's been a complication. We can't link it to your POV camera, and it looks like communications are only working one way. You can hear me, I hope, but I can't hear you. That means we don't know how badly you were affected by the transportation. If you're feeling confused or disoriented, you should know that deep space travel can do you pretty serious psychological damage, especially to your memory. Even a few hours out there in the dark can cause permanent problems. I'm gonna be honest with you. Mission Control are concerned you might have no idea who you are or why you're in there. If that's true, I have some difficult facts for you. You're a long way from Earth. A very long way. But every single person on the planet is depending on you. That thing you're inside right now, whatever it is, is gonna hit Earth in the next few hours. And if it does, that's the end of everything. You need to decipher and dismantle it from the inside before that happens. I just hope you haven't forgotten how. We all do. Now, listen carefully. This is important. The reason why it's me talking to you and not mission control is because you're too far out into deep space. Their signal can't reach you out there, but mine can. I'm Commander Novak. I'm an astronaut on board the International Space Station. I'm gonna relay everything they tell me, but the bad news is, every time I orbit around the far side of the Earth, I'll move out of radio range. When that happens, you're gonna be on your own for a while. Just stay calm, and keep your head straight until I get back into range. Okay, this is it. I'm orbiting out of range now. I'll be back soon. Just remember what I've told you.
is 919. this is getting to you. I've been speaking with Mission Control. They're worried about you. Because your radio's out, we don't know if you've lost your memory or not. If you have, it could... it could be bad for the mission. One of the methods they use to bring back memories for amnesiac patients is to talk to them about important events in their lives. So, before you left, you wrote yourself a letter, just in case. It's a letter to you about you. Mission Control gave me a transcript. We think it's for the best that I read some of it to you. Okay, well, first, you're married. You have no children. You live in Colorado Springs, but you got married in Iceland. That's nice. You... Damn. I'm orbiting out of range. I'll read more if you're still there.
top the test! Back in range. Fingers crossed. Look, Mission Control think that if you have lost your memory, me just giving you little details about yourself won't be enough to spark anything. They want me to read something more specific. Something very personal to you. So, I want you to know. I'm only reading this because you wrote it to yourself. It was 3 p.m. on a Sunday. You were upstairs at home. A teenage boy broke into your house. He thought you were away on vacation. You went downstairs with your gun. You shot him in your living room. Only he wasn't trying to rob you. He was passing by and saw a fire in your kitchen. He broke in to try and put it out. He was young and stupid and probably should have thought of a better solution. But you assumed the worst. You assumed the very worst and you shot him. He was paralyzed from the neck down. He died seven years later, alone, at night, in Penrose St. Francis Hospital. I'm orbiting out. I hope that helped you. Fingers crossed.
know you couldn't hear me down there. She's lying to you. She's a liar. You're not where they say you are. They'll leave you alone to die in the dark. I hope you can hear me. The lights on the outside of the cube have gone dark. Mission Control think that's good. They say you must have hit it somewhere that hurts. So keep doing what you're doing. I know it's tough being alone out there. I've been alone here on the International Space Station for over a month. Going round and round and round the Earth. And after a while, it messes with your head. The truth is, if you leave a person alone in the dark long enough, they'll lose themselves. I'm orbiting out of range. Keep going. I'll be back soon. power left. I've been listening from inside my box. They say you're out in space. You're not. You're underground. They buried you alive down there so they could test you. They're going to test you and test you until you rot into dust. And they do something to your memory. They did it to mine. They don't want you to remember who you are because if you don't know what's happening, You'll have faith that it will end. You'll have faith that someone will let you out of the dark, but they won't. You have to rip that faith out of your skull and replace it with truth. Or you'll die down there.
Okay, fingers crossed you can hear me again. I have good news. Actually, two pieces of good news. We've started to see a definite effect on the cube itself. Parts of the outer layer seem to be coming apart. Whatever you're doing in there is working great. Second piece of good news. Mission controls say you're almost close enough for them to contact you directly. So we're going to organize a link up to your wife. She is dying to talk to you. Just keep going, and we'll make it happen. I'm orbiting out of range again, so good luck. And be careful. <laughs> Open your ears. Doubt is like a tiny plant trying to push its way towards the light. But as soon as she sees it poking out of the dirt, she pours on more soothing words to kill it. You're making the cube fall apart. You're going to get to talk to your wife. You're going to get out. You're going to go home. You're going to save the whole earth. That's her poison. And you're drinking it. If you want it to stop, you have to stop it. Sometimes you can't be sure you're there at all. 
I finish the job. I start to move away. And, uh, and I hear this voice. Only it's my voice, not in my mouth, not in my head, but outside next to my ear. It's the only way I can explain it. And the voice, it said, it said, God is dead. <laughs> and it scared the hell out of me. I grabbed my tether and pulled myself back into the airlock and shut the door. <sighs> I know it's just my brain keeping itself busy. And that's why we do isolation tests before we go out. But Christ. I'm orbiting out of range. I'm sorry. Keep going. Please keep going.